Breaking at noon, Indume has returned. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ryan Houston. The gorilla arrived in Cincinnati early this morning, and just a little bit ago, Zoo Director Thane Maynard updated us on how the trip went. Officials say Indume's trip went exactly as planned. Well, you may think zookeepers tranquilized the silverback gorilla for the trip, but that did not happen. They've been training him to enter a crate by himself, which is exactly what he did. He then slept most of the trip, but was given food and water along the way. It's an exciting day at the Cincinnati Zoo. The reason we're here is to inspire people with wildlife, and everybody's inspired that Ndume has come back home. He was born here, he needs to live with other gorillas, and he will soon do that again. Everybody loves our gorilla program. It's one of the greatest programs we've had. We've had 50 babies born here, and uh, down the road we'll have some more. But it's very exciting to have uh, Indume back in Cincinnati. Well, officials say Indume is now getting used to his new surroundings and is already climbing inside the gorilla habitat. He's currently separate from the other gorillas, but he can still see them. The zoo has no timetable for when he will make his public debut. So following the announcement of Indume's return, PETA, which had its own lawsuit in support of the zoo, released a statement saying, quote, After years of pressure from PETA, Indume is now back in his first home, his real home, supported by expert care and with the chance to socialize with gorilla companions. 